ben Debbie en ik wil graag uh, de uitgroei bijgewerkt en een lekker vlot kapsel. Debbie Kullen. was uh, yeah, to get rid of her outgrow and she wants curly hairstyle afterwards and she also wants to get a fresh job of this hairstyle. Wait to so you can see how it has now. She has a real funky bob, so that stays. And she, we can work with a lot of slice techniques, that's also nice. An old staff member of mine. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube. Got myself an old staff member to be modeling for me. Let's start with the cut, like I always do. And of course with protection for cutting. Then we're gonna wet the hairs, see what's going on. See a lot of uh, nice colors on top. We're getting all together. Uh oh. <laughs> we know each other for a long, long time. I think about uh, 30 years or something like that. So it's a long time. 35 years old. Yeah, 35 years. Time goes fast when you're having fun. Ja, op de kapsopleiding. Ja. Toen was ik 17. <laughs> we, we, we went also to the same school. She was then 17 and I was uh, 27 when I was on school. I was the dirty old man. No, it's not true. <laughs> Never did. <laughs> Starting by watching the hair. No hair, of course, for a long, long time. And she has a wonderful hair, strong. A lot of power in it. But some, also something she needs to have. Strong hairstyle. Go start slicing the things in the back. To slice to a bob. And there will be a funky bob in the way now the days the, uh, the trends are. It's going to work in that line. To make myself easy, I'm going to put a little conditioner on there. For conditioner, I'm going to use the Revival Mist. This makes slicing also much nicer to do. This product of Glint, it nurses the hair really, really nice. Yeah, mooi, yeah. Take two clips. She told them she had never had this long hair. Even when she was a child, she did not have this long hair. Because her daughter has long hair. It's also a bit of hers. <laughs> <laughs> they look alike. Starting in the back and work my way up. Come turn us so you can see what I do. I told you we'll keep the sides longer. Starting on the skull bone. Go in with my slice techniques. I'm working the line of the skull. Take all the hairs on the center line. So pull the hairs to the center line. I mostly slice a little bit faster because I really love slicing. And when you do it slow motion, like I show you, like this, it's a bit harder to do. I think slicing needs to be done fast, so you get more action into the blades of the scissor and a better cutting technique. Go to the other side, lift the hairs over, slice again. Take a new line on it. Slice all the lines on the same baseline.
And when you slice like this, and you do slice cutting, so you move your scissors in the same uh, speed as you do um, the slicing, then a model or a customer don't notice it that you're slicing. It doesn't pull the hairs. Voel je niks op, hè? Nee, man. Lekker! <laughs> Watch in other lines. Point cut. I do this only in the center. So now I make use of the lines of the skull. So I give that wonderful rounding into the skull lines. This adds also more volume to the lines I'm coming to do. Wetting in between. Adjust the thickness of the hairs. Take a new line on it. Go in a sharp line to the other side of the ear. So this line is from 2 cm till the same parting line I started with. Do this on both sides. Go to the center again. Watch through the hairs, over the skull bone. Down. I start my first line in the center. Slice cutting down. Take the hairs on this line. Go in the same line. And make sure it's free of the under hairs. So this lays upon the hairs I just did. So it's a bit like a bob laying on top in this nice fluffy underlines. Go to the other side. Take again the hairs on the same line. Turn a bit. Take the hairs on it. Go in, slice cutting. And knowing that I don't want to go to the same line in the other lines, as I did on the lines, I take the hairs up and now I want to end on the chin line because it's a bob laying on top of a fluffy line. This creates a lot of volume and a lot of movement, especially because she has a little bit wavy hair, so I can make a lot of volume on the back to get a nice rounding. Take again about 2 cm coming on the center of the skull, coat still behind the ears, like front to the front, pin it away, do this of course on both sides. The left side is a little less hair than on the right side, because this is a bit flatter than that side. That's normal. For a girl like her, no. <laughs> For everybody. <laughs> Just make it fun between. Again, starting in the center line. Watch over the lines of the skull bone. Go in, in the center. And make a jolly slice technique. Flat down. No curves in it. Then I come to the sides. Then I take over to the line where I left. Go in. Get rid of some length. <coughs> Creating again that pop line on the underlines. The difference is about uh, one half inch, about four, four and a half centimeters. So you see the bob laying on top of this nice underline. Take the hairs to the back. Like 
lay the hands in the roundings of the skull, watch over the skull lines. Now I can also watch to the chin lines because they are the same. The lines of the skull go in the same line as the chin line. They always do. So I create this, have this nice soft line, a wonderful bob on top of it. So I get a lot of volume and a nice curve into the lines. So as strong as these lines. First line I'm going to make is reduce a little bit here on this side. So adjusting the line a bit, just on the eye. So you see what I meant. Go down deep. Then have a lot of volume with a lot of curls on top, so you get a very exciting hairstyle. From the center, go to the front of the ear. Set the hairs aside. I'm more happy, guys. <laughs> I feel like a mouse. I'm going to create the line that I want. Go with all the hairs to the back. Straight on the center line again. Go slice cutting down and keeping as much length as I can to the front. So I keep this length. Yeah. Take a new part of it. That way. Full of lift up the Yeah, but lift up. Take the hairs to the back again. All the hairs. Make notice of the roundings of the skull and take all the hairs in the natural roundings. So never change of that feeling. Because cutting can also be a feeling of doing hair. It's a motion. And I find it even sexy <laughs> doing hair. Give it a little bit of technique, not too much. Going to the last part of the longer hair on top. I know this is gonna, not going to make it totally to the back, but it just control it to the back. And about two centimeters from the splitting of the top. Take this line also on the line of cutting, lay it on the line of cutting, go in with an ultra fine point cut slice technique. Go in again, and see this ultra fine slice cut technique. There's not much that comes off. The rest I can do from the front. Create myself that one of Bob. Strong, more in line of fashion. Turn up, go to the other side. Okay, coming to the right side, do the same first line. I take from the front of the ear. You see, this side has less hair than the other side. Go in, take it high up. Move in the running of the skull, slice cutting down, knowing that I want as much length as I can on the front. So using ultra fine slice techniques in a point cut line. And this I can connect to the under lines because that length can connect to this line, so it's still in the same line. Take the last part to go to the back, lay the hairs over the rounding, go back to the first line, go in with ultra fine slice technique again. And here I have even less hair that comes off. I really love this kind of hairstyles because I think they are very creative to do. 
It's a nice practice it's for your skills. Turn it to the front. Coming to the front, take the hex on the lines of her face, watch over the lines of her face and go into the same line, just taking off the dry ends, not more than that, and do this like this. Because I need all the length I can have on this hairstyle. Take a part of the center, over the front, from the, the back, over the face line, above the eyebrow, of the other side. Take the again in the same line, go in with my sister, again take off small parts of the hair. This will be my guideline for the other side. So that's why I do this. Then lay it back. Ready on the right side. In this color she has is uh, more than three months old, so it's still a wonderful color. Go in, same line. Switch over with my hand. Go in from the other side. Gently go down. Control the line. Now this is the thick part of her hair. So I take here a little bit deep slice techniques. About a centimeter or four or five from the start. And the end of the hair. Almost in the same line. You give that crazy feeling. And to turn this in the line of the fall, take it to the other side and set the slice technique on the back. This way, this hair will certainly want to go this way. It has a much nicer fall, and otherwise, it goes that way. Coming on top, controlling. Start on the front, take the hairs up, take them in the center, watch at the line, take off only ultra fine parts that I can see they're still a bit dry. And the more I come to the back, the less it will be. Always damage the most on the front because you walk through the hairs and heat and everything flows through your hands, also polluting. So now I make this wonderful crazy bob, so now I can make a nice new color. That fits wonderful, nice and strong. Good skin wise. Oh <laughs> Girls, girls, girls. Wow. The food here, like. You like this, don't you? I made the color. Made this on uh, 20 volume, 6%. I put it in step one. And this I apply on my hairs. Starting on the outgrow, of course. The mix of these colors should set also into the photo line, so you can see what's the combination of colors I use, which mix tones they are in. But mostly when there is getting a little bit lighter, so gray, you have to put some uh, extra uh, mix tone in, because that's gone, so then you have to bring that back into the hairs. So I apply this and then I'm back. So now all the color is on my hair. Massage it in, so it's no problem. Take out my cloth. 
plastic garter wick to clean the contour line. For the takeoff now, I don't need to do afterwards. Clean the ears. Take a small part of garter wick, lay it on the ears. So the ears stay nice and clean. And a little bit on the front the plastic foil. This close up, we go for coffee and tea. You may not, just stay there. <laughs> Damn! Now you can stop the video and watch it after we did the same. We see each other uh, in less than a second of course, because then I rinse it out and show you the end result. Stay focused. This is a lot more, yeah? Like ice. Okay, we're back from coloring after 30 minutes. I rinse it out. Gonna use uh, the product of Rover Hair. It's a Curl Divine product. Use this amount of the product. This is a nice creamy product. It smells really nice. First gonna dry the hair and then I make her some stronger curls. Je hebt krullen zat eigenlijk van jezelf. Ja, maar ze zijn niet stevig in. Nee. Als ik dan uh, als je ze zo droog sleur en als ik dan thuis ben met de fietsen zal ze in elkaar. Ja. ja, maar dat is ook logisch. Als je een beetje de rechter uit haalt, zijn ze veel sterker. Ja. So far, blow drying. I put on a soft hair spray to protect the hairs for the heat of the curly iron. Take every time a small piece of hair, put iron in, turn it around. Ik houd vast. Ja. Open mijn clip. Let cool down. En mijn iron is of bal mee. Ja, dus ook als je dat vastpakt, dan heb je ook nog wel eens tijd ijs dat je net even aardig bent. Ja. So, for so far, this part of fun with iron. So now I just wiggle it around to get that volume that I want. That crazy messy look. Take a flexible hairspray so I can still move around with the hairs, creating a wonderful volume that I want. Now 
on an array with uh, fixating with the soft hairspray, I can also fixate it with strong hairspray because it's uh, cold outside. So I want to fixate this in, with a normal hairspray. So far, the new hair style and color. I thank you for being my model. Thank you for watching. She will certainly turn around to show you the end result. We see each other next video. Bye bye. Now it's a rosy capsule. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. What a welcome. She uh, had yeah, to get rid of her outgrow and she wants curly hairstyle afterwards and she also wants to get a fresh up of this hairstyle. Wait a turn so you can see how it has now. And she has a real funky bob so that stays. And she, we can work with a lot of slice techniques that's also nice on her. An old staff member of mine. <laughs> Thank you very much.